share with you a quick tip tutorial for you photographers that are out there getting into these powder rooms that are pretty tight but also yet yeah, very beautifully done with some wallpaper. Um, you're going to see three shots that we have here and I'm going to take these three shots into Photoshop and we're going to start editing showing you kind of the process of what I do in order to kind of get these shots. Um, showcasing the details of all see this beautiful wallpaper yet trying to create the shadow directions and everything as if it's coming out from the light source of which is the window. Now you could just put a flash above camera here and pop it but then you're going to have something that looks very flashy. It doesn't look like it's properly uh, exposed image. Um, you're going to see a reflection in the window and so forth and so on. So to take your photography to that next level you're going to want to try to start learning how to do some of these shots and edits so that when you can start putting these into your portfolio. So let's get started. So as you can see here, we have our three images. So there's the ambient shot is the first one. Always take an ambient shot. Your second shot, you're going to notice this is the flash that's above my camera right now. And this is what I was talking about being very flashy. Everything doesn't look like the shadow direction, which is supposed to be coming from this window. It looks like the flash is coming directly behind the camera. So, you know, it's really bright on this. You got the window reflection. So there's a couple of problems. Now this one here is me standing in the corner to create the shadow direction that I need, which is this whole side of the right. So we're gonna start putting this all together. Now, this is gonna be our base image, which is the flash. And then this image here, we're gonna go ahead and press um, option, and then we're gonna press mask, and that makes it black. By doing that, it allows me now to paint in what I want, which is going to basically be the flash. So let's go ahead and start painting this in. Now you see my light flow, plus, uh, my opacity is set to flow is at 38. And this is going to basically start allowing me to paint in the direction from that image, which is the flash shot. And there we have it now. We have to back this out. We're gonna press X, because we wanna get ourselves out of this mirror, which is what is coming through. All right, and then let's go ahead and press back and we're gonna paint the outside of this. Awesome. So there's a couple little things that we're gonna fix, but obviously the one thing that we're looking for is again, shadow direction. We wanna see that this shadow direction is definitely coming in from the light source, which is um, this window. And I'm gonna show you how we're going to fix all this up with the ambient. So now that that is all done, we're going to use this image here as a luminosity mask. We're gonna go ahead and bring this down. We're gonna click on luminosity. And then from there, I am going to bring that luminosity mask down to about 50%. Now, what's good about this is I get to pick and choose. I can do it this way, but I, I like to pick and choose what I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and press control. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna press option. And then again, create a mask. I'm going to paint in what I don't want. So. Let's go ahead and press X and here we go. So we're going to paint in, look at that. We're painting in the kind of hot spot that was in the front. All right, let's get over this a little bit. Down the frame. Now I'm gonna do something with this window because it really is bothering me. It's not really worth kind of showing it. So I'm going to um, do something with that later. So let's go ahead and put this back. There we go. Okay guys, so that's pretty much it. Um, if I feel like there's anything else that I wanna brush in or brush out, I can do that from here. If there's nothing really that adds value, then I just take it out. If there's something that I think adds some value, then I'll put it back in. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this image. And the one thing that I did notice is right down here, you'll notice that there is a couple of, looks like stains from, I guess from some cups or something that was here. So we're gonna try to touch this up. All right, so all I'm gonna do is go ahead and take uh, the stamp tool. 
I'm going to take parts of this and that's it. Just kind of brush it over. That's it, done. Let's take that out. So that takes care of that. Now I could get rid of some of this. This is just basically reflection from the counter onto the, um, uh, sorry, the uh, light fixture above, and that's where that's coming from. So I think that's pretty much it. That is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this image, or sorry, flatten, I'm gonna save it and bring it back into Lightroom. So now what I'm doing is I'm trying to find something, a good source that what I feel is a good white balance. So obviously the sink is a pretty good source of white balance. So is the actual um, toilet. So that being said, that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to go ahead and start dropping the shadows, drop the highlights. We're going to bring up the clarity a little bit. And we're going to bring up the saturation. Let's check this one more time. Yeah, that looks better actually to me. And then from there, I'm going to go ahead and do an auto correction that makes that line up. And I want to get rid of this. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that down there. I can go ahead and go up, see a little bit of light fixture. And that's pretty much it guys. So that is a final edited shot of the powder room. I know it's something that is simple um, in the sense that it's a small room. It should be easy. So I can go from either this or I can make it look like this, which to me is a little bit more realistic of what our eyes see because of the shadows and everything. So this is mostly kind of what uh, HDR would look like with a little uh, different because you're gonna see a lot of yellow tones and blue, but when you add the flash to it, you gotta be careful because that is really something that is um, too flashy for me. And then just by doing a little bit of editing, you're gonna be able to get a good final results. So just want to share that with you guys. All the best, take care, and again, be able to subscribe into my YouTube channel and get more tips and tutorials on this.